um, and the flexibility and the tankiness that he got. Well, also the Esmeralda. So, what they said in the next play, Evas, that that's the really the ones they saw here as the biggest threats of their lineup, which is understandable. The squishy of the lineup. Ah, uh, no, next play, Evas, and you have two very high-sustained frontliners. One is a pang adjunger, so it makes sense for that last pickup. But it's one of those lineups that they're really saying for NXT look kind of greedy. Dahil sa Sicilian, dahil sa Kari, dahil sa Brody. That's a lot of time na kailangan ng NXT. Napa expensive, if I recall correctly, the last time Mahal. we saw. Oh. Well, at least in the the pro scene, no, was MPL season eight. It was by Echo Philippines na nagkari at nag Sicilian sila. It, it wasn't the yeah. age of Sicilian just yet. Very meta, a very out of meta pa si Sicilian don, and it was expensive then. How about now? Mm-hmm. Nalulat ni Brody. Uh, we will find out. For Blacklist, though, I gotta say, yung Valentina, I think this is one of the reasons why naging pakito uh, kari ito, Denmark. Besides the fact that it's an answer to the Barats, it's, you know, yung daming tools nila na hindi magagamit ni Haji. Yeah, that's true. Actually, H2 running the Demon Slayer slash uh, Mage Killer. Killer Emblem. Yeah, yeah, the old name. Yeah. Uh, Tell me you're yeah, old NXP. without saying you're old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nalala ko pa nung main killer yan. Anong demon slayer? Demon slayer. <laughs> you were saying? Yeah, for uh, NXP Evos, it's gonna be a different brand of NXP that we're seeing. Hindi naman sa hindi sila makaka-engage. Sobrang bilang lang talaga yung mga oras na pwede sila mag-engage. So I actually like this adjustment here. My wife, sinubukan niya kunin yung Rock Ursa. I'm not sure was able to get it, but since around same level sila dalawa ni Kari, uh, I think it was why she was able to get a rock, uh, rock Orsa there. Uh, yeah, uh, kailangan talaga maging tayo dito ng NXP. They can't be too aggressive, but if they have an opening, maybe they'll be able to win a small skirmish. Isa o dalawang kills, pero a full-on team fight, uh, medyo malabo pa sa may early game yan. Siguro mga 10 to 12 minutes in. That's when we'll see NXP was ready. If they keep it close, ready to take a big fight. Yeah, it's uh, reminiscent of uh, the late season eight NXP. Kung saan minsan nila lagi nila si H two O sa isang Nathan. But right now, look at this. That was welcome on to H two. Where you going? Come on, tiga namin. Back up. Ang next lady was dito. Hayes and Oreshi stopping the first kill. Uy, ano pa si Dominic? Ang lalim. Proxy Wars na pa, sinimula ni Dominic agad. Lalim. It's going to be a uh, early third row positioning here for Wise. Gusto niya siya yung makukuna sa third row positioning ni Jasky. Oy! That'll be a show. Oh, Hayes! At about half his health, Dominic charging up the Falling Star Moon. Tutulong na lang yata sa paggawa ng Lord dito, but no. Gonna go around. Flat! H2 here. Wise take in the turtle buff here, shielded up on Blackwoods International. Instead, they're gonna try to deny the purple. Nako, out of shape yata ang next play. Iwas para pumili dito ha, mababa ng boy nila. Especially Hayes. Hayes and Cadenza. Not in a good position here. Retribution right in H2's face. That's gonna be tough. Yeah, and this is what's tough against a lineup from a carry jungle. Oh, you're up against the Baron's jungle. Already got the first turtle of the game. Nanakaw pa yung buff mo. This extends the time until we see next play Evos ready to really take it to Blacklist International. But if they are, how ready are their damage dealers? How ready to deal damage to the Barat? Kano ka ready si Nongat on the Brody to deal damage? Next, and next Evos here, yes, sinusubukan nila protectahan sa H2. Pero just as equally, kailangan din nila tulungan si Donut kasi siya yung mag- isang magiging late game uh, security talaga dito or even mid game if they can really help him uh, farm up very quickly. Yeah, and so far, it's not impossible but it's very difficult. Uh, Blouse International ahead by about 800 to 1,000 gold at any given time in this 3 minute, 30 seconds game. Bottom lane, napapadala sa bisita ni Oreshi, ah sorry, ni H2 dito. And I think it's because they're trying to go for that turtle still. Alam nila pag na-turtle sila dito ang ganda. Parang rampa lang sila noong game number 3. And right now, parang nag-iba yata ang hip ng hangin. Hindi na gano'ng kahirap ang buhay ni Owl. Oh! The claws though. Ang ganda talaga. Na-imagine ko na yung late game and next play Evos. Kung kunyari makarating tayo doon, ang ganda ng sanguine claws for this very melee, uh, very smelly back line heavy lineup ng Blacklist. Oh, exactly. And that's why... 
Kailangan lang talaga kumapit dito ng NXP EVOS. Not let Blacklist International to completely run away with it. But Blacklist International, ginagawa nila yung mga tamo moves. Pinihin ko nila at binidisrupt nila yung farm ni H2. Pero at that time, at least, nakuha na yung H2, yung purple buff niya. But hindi pa rin makakakontest dito ang NXP EVOS. Again, I'm giving at around this time, maybe around 8 to 10 minutes for NXP EVOS to be ready to go up against Blacklist. If NXP EVOS lose another team fight like that, uh, closer to 10 to 12 minutes. So, rapid game mm. talaga for NXP. So, every team fight na matalo nila, or every death, or every stumble, it adds a minute or two to their eventual oh. game, uh, mid game or late game spike. So, I consider yan. Ang lalim ng cut ni Oreshi. Ang dami niya nagagawa dito dahil ito lang ang kaya niya gawin because he's not gonna see Dominic. They're trying to do the same thing, both of them. And right now, at least bottom lane is a little safe. Like, top lane is totally able to First blood, finally after five minutes. Oh my beat! Vinya Luna taking down Donut. Now Cadenza holding on. Papa tayo masyadito. dito. There's the shield set in. And now Haze trying to survive as well. At least they, it's damage control. They could have lost so much more. And right now, again, dito na lang ng farm. Si H2, John Post along the in bottom lane. Yun na kawa niya at least. The bottom lane, the bottom camp, bottom jungle, senior wise, but the damage is done. Look at where, look at top lane. Wow, two K ahead na ang Blackwood International. Oh. Red team turret has ah, been destroyed. Sobrang haba pa ng damage ng LXP Evos. Blacklist, they're just naturally scaling so fast. Uh, sa lineup nila, naka, labas na si Al sa lane, level 8. Compared to the level 7 of the Brody, but nakas na maximize ni Donut, uh, ni Owl rather, yung mga gold pa din yaku, uh, kunin in lane. And then NXP, this is what they're getting. Um, uh, expected naman to sa, sa lineup nila, and with what, what Blacklist International acknowledged, kaya ang bilis ng tempo ng Blacklist is not going to be able to do it. Another tower for Owl, more gold for the Flint. Yep, and right now, Dominic, matatamaan ng circling eagle and the knock-up by Ureshi. Pero hindi nila matatapos dito. Dominic still alive. There's a turtle. Last turtle, potentially, of this game. And Owl is just pushing. Binamataan siya dito. Binabatayan ni Oh My Venus. And so far, objectives have been easy for Blackwatch International in this minute. 50 seconds game, Oreshi 1v1 with Esmeralda. Kumasa yun, isa sumusuntok naman yung kalaban niya. H2, gonna come in, take this crab coin. And this is as free as it gets for H2. Ito na yung pinakamadali yung mga parts ng buhay ni H2 sa early game. Oo. I'm able to get that crab coin there. And parang yung heat map ng laro natin, madalas dito sa purple top. The next play, but just around this area. Um, uh, but NXP, see there, they have to roam around together. We no protect our nila ni Donut. Kailangan din nila protectan on tay on tay si H2. So, yun yung tinutubuan i juggle ng NXP boss kung sino yung marksman na tutulungan nila o mas pitti kita nila yeah. para mawawala. Oh. Look at this, who has been slain? Si Hayes, or nagkol si Haji, parang si Hayes. And off camera kill! by Donut onto Owl. Interesting na. What was that? Oh, tinulong ka siya ni Cadenza. There you go. Uh, so, talagang yung dynamic ng Hatid Matilda. At least they find the kill yeah. here. Trying to close the gap. Okay. Uh, dalawang ultimates na expend to ni Cadenza and Donut para matake down si Owl. Pero they needed that. They needed that win for Donut. At kailangan nila onte ihinto yung momentum ni Owl which was already getting out of hand. So, for NXP, nakabuo na sila ng dalawang dominant size. Uh, if not mistaken, si Cadenza at si Oreshi nakabuo nun, which will, will help with the natural healing. We reduce the natural healing na meron ng Blacklist and more importantly, mas slow kami after the Blacklist. Oh! Team hero Four man collapse! Slain. Maling eskinita na pasok ni Dominic doon. Binigyan siya ng next play Evos. Let's see, Cadenza very low. Oh no. Haji trying to get some! Destroyed. Finds one, though not still alive, but just barely, and Haji wants to get one! Does Haji get a double? Matak mo pa si Donut, and Donut gets away. Close call, would have been a disaster, but eventually finds one more! Babag si Hayes dito, the machine is on a roll! Ah, uh, let's play Evos little by little, nakakahanap na sila ng momentum. Not so much, but just enough to manage the minion waves, keep it alright, keep it close. 
But Haji with that flaker, giving the flaker a big. Team fight breaking down in mid. That's Donut laying down the law. Stacks on stacks. Quick one take. Nine minutes, 15 seconds in. Again, when it comes to objectives, kailangan paghirapan ng next three posts yun. So ang mapa ay kay Blacklist pa rin. Pag may sinabi silang kailangan namin to, they easy to get it. I'm wondering what the item game looks like on Wise right now, given that they're, they're ahead by 3k here. Saan kaya napupunta yung gold? Kanino kaya? They have uh, the War Axe and the Antikiras already. So, ang agad yung sinagot sa H2. Uh, on the way to building the Thunder Belt, which will add like a little bit of range. Slow as well as physical defense. Kailangan na kailangan against the double marksman setup ng Blacklist International. And looking at the items for Haji, kaya ang bilis ng cooldown reduction niya. Actually, building the Enchanted Talisman with the Clock of Destiny on the way pa ang build niya sa Life Link Trunchon. They're pushing for mid. Look at the sink here. Early push. 10 minutes in. Lords on my bottom lane. Top lane. Pinagtono ng pansin ni Mr. Del Rosario. Five men here from next to Evos in mid. Ang ganap sila. Dominic, gusto mag-flank. Tutulungan yung push na may bottom lane. Big huge wave. Nice flow here. Haji. Oh, that's bad. Alias Hayes using that ult. Look at the damage. Donut Camp and Gary, they're gonna swing onto this bottom lane inhibitor. Umutok na yung shield. Wala nang wave. Ang next play, Evos doon. Blacklist International though, they brought one in. But still, you gotta respect the damage that NXP is putting on. Successful defense. Jumping at the lineup for Blacklist. Oh, okay. oh wait lang. Mamaya na yung lineup. May bawi ito si Donut. Take it down. Haji, a shutdown on the Valentina. Two for one so far. Ang palitan. Kadenga still alive. No burn is enough to take him down two for one. Ren, what you were saying about the lineups? The lineup for Blacklist International, naturally, it's hard to find a hero who can really get to the back line of next play was para ma disrupt. So, wait, oh, Donut! Binigla nila si Donut! That's a kill by Al! And the Kaka! Napasama pa yata kay Cadenza. Ureshi gonna go into Wise's belly! That's the Death Nuts welcome into the wall. Wrong wall though! Not enough of a distance to stun the Paquito. And there's the comeback potential. Wise still gets one! The Huja gone! A killing spree! And now H2 might go down here. Oh, goes back with the step. And right now, they're just happy to keep this inhibitor and their lives intact. Oh, pero hindi na naman si Haji. I thought Haji would go for it. To quickly sum up what I've been trying to say, the Bats Feast Ultimate ng Sicilian. Yun yung lagi kinukuha ni Haji. At yun yung parang isang main... Oo, sulit na sulit. Main initiation tool nga ng Blacklist International. Pag nakuha ni Haji yung ultimate ng Sicilian, he'll activate it. That's how he'll get close to the fight. And that's why nakakabot sila sa backline nila that range and the reach of having the Bats Feast on your Valentina na kinukuha niya from the Sicilian ng next play Evos. Oh no, wait lang. Nasa yung heal doon sa may likod. The scene. Oh my Venus. Del Rosario on the swing back. Akin niya si Donut. H2 for the backlines. And then as well. Three for none. Walang sagot ang next play Evos dito. But a sandwich pa kaya ta. Si Bataan. Ang tatalan natin Dominic. Flicker on out. Let's see, can they get away with this? He survived, but not the same. We can stay for this inhibitor in mid. Makabay na si Orechi. Papapush ni Aulion. Bottom lane still up. They're gonna try to put some damage onto it. Orechi first it down by Aul. Ladies and gentlemen, it's just a matter of time. And now we have our champion in this national team selection tournament. Blacklist International have made it as a part of Seabull 2022. Masanay ka na marinig ang mga pangalan nila. Villa Luna, Del Rosario, Soto, Gonzales, Imam, Alabaji, and Danny, Enrica Plaza to the Blacklist International Squad. Congratulations for winning the Seaball 2022 National Team Selection.